I asked the doctors and I asked them to be honest with me, um, you know, should I get married now over FaceTime so my mom can see me say I do. Kaylee Jenkins promised her mom, Marcy, she would watch her get married while at a wedding shortly after Kaylee's brother, Tucker, passed away. That was set to happen in July, but when doctors told Jenkins last week her mom didn't have much time left, plans changed. I want to thank the nurses and everybody for scrambling to help get a big screen for her to see everybody on and um, you know, my mother and father-in-law, Peg and Tom O'Connell, um, you know, they offered our ho their house to us. And Jenkins, her fiancé, Michael O'Connell, and family and friends got to work, putting a ceremony together in hours. Multiple people, including their photographer and Michael's best man, left work early to be a part of the wedding. Sent out a few texts and made a few co phone calls and just the love and the support of our family and our friends and everybody that just dropped everything and came together that fast and the support was overwhelming. The fact that all of these people called me and they came down, they drove miles to be with me and just do this for me and my mother, you know, that is something that I will cherish and I will tell my children and my children's children. Thanks to their loved ones, Kaylee and Michael said I do while Marcy watched via FaceTime. Unable to speak, she held up the universal sign for I love you throughout the ceremony. We have been doing that with each other for years, ever since I could remember. And then I was in an organization called, called Job's Daughters, and they raise money for hearing impaired kids, and that is their symbol also. So it, it took on so much extra meaning for us. Marcy passed just days later after fighting MS for 30 years. In lieu of flowers or cards, Kaylee and Michael are asking people to donate to the Multiple Sclerosis Foundation. Reporting from Sydney, I'm Alec Chisholm, News Channel, Nebraska.